Welcome to Balancing Act of Nature, an exploration of the yin-yang school of philosophy. This journey will illuminate its roots, application, influences, and modern interpretations. Let's start. To understand the philosophical bedrock of yin and yang, we should bear in mind that ancient China regarded life as a duality played out in natural cycles, a principle symbolized by the Taijitu. Yin and yang, in essence, signify the balance of forces. Emblematic of feminine, dark, and cool qualities, yin beautifully complements yang, signifying masculine, bright, and warm characteristics. This balance becomes particularly illustrative when we examine the predator-prey dynamic in nature. Lions, denoting yang, hunt zebras, denoting yin, creating a stability in the ecosystem that personifies yin and yang's interplay. However, even this finely tuned equilibrium faces strain through human intervention, an imbalance that mandates our responsibility. Cresting on the evolutionary adaptability and survival strategies, the yin and yang philosophy holds sharp relevance in contemporary conservation efforts. So we learn, as we examine how the ancient philosophy enlightens us on nature's interconnectedness and balance, how much our actions can tip the scale. Always relevant, always enlightening, the yin and yang philosophy underlines the need to respect the delicate harmonies playing out in nature. Duality lies at the heart of the yin and yang philosophy. From the moon's tranquil glow to the sun's radiant brilliance, we encounter yin and yang's balance resonating through our daily lives. Residing in an alcove of darkness, yin presents the calm side of life, the moon, and passivity. Simultaneously under the daylight's canopy, yang emerges with activity's robust energy, akin to the sun's relentless effulgence. Yin and yang, between their harmonious dance, underline the tune of life. In the vista of traditional Chinese medicine, TCM, this can be evident. Sleep, a manifestation of yin, replenishes us, spiraling us into a cocoon of rejuvenation. In stark contrast, our physical activity and application of Yang's philosophy imbues us with vibrancy that defines our active states. Embodiments of yin and yang are not confined to the human realm. The seasonal changes, parading a cycle of yin's chilling winters and yang's warm summers, illustrate how these ancient philosophies cascade into our understanding of the natural world. Frameworks from eras bygone, when tailored to current realities, widen the horizons of our understanding, with yin and yang epitomizing this time-transcending wisdom. Stepping back to the Zhou dynasty, we unveil the birth of yin-yang philosophy, a telling testament to the time's intellectual climate. The Zhou's ideological landscape witnessed the sprouting of dual vessels, yin and yang, encapsulating a symbiotic duality symbolized by darkness and brightness respectively. One led to an era of intellectual fecundity that bore witness to the Yang's masculine energy and active dynamism opposing Yin's feminine passivity, paving the way for a pervasive worldview, the harmonious interplay between dark and light, rest and action. Astoundingly, this concept of balance seeped into the very crux of Zhou governance and society, indicating the intertwining threads of cosmos and civilization. Among the conscious architects of time was Zhu Yan, who wove the yin-yang construct with the five phases theory, thereby amplifying the cosmos's comprehension. A quest for congruence led to a powerful amalgamation that adopted yin-yang and five phases as fundamental lenses to explore medicine, astrology, and philosophy. Impeccably, it sowed the seeds for the systematic approach reflecting on disciplines as varied as medicine and agriculture, breathing life and an awe-inspiring dimension to this ancient philosophy. Nature's patterns painted the first strokes of the yin-yang concept. Reflecting the primal dance of seasons, yin peaks at winter solstice, succumbing to the coolness and darkness, quintessentially feminine. In contrast, yang, the masculine counterpart, ascends with warmth and brightness at summer solstice. Natural phenomena indeed delineated this fascinating duality. The ancients subscribed to this interplay of opposites, adjusting their agricultural practices accordingly. Imagine the farmer pausing to plant seeds at spring, the signal for Yang's ascension, only to harvest with Yin's rise in autumn. This rhythmic coordination underlines the human adaptation to nature's rhythm, harmonizing life with Yin and Yang. Interestingly, this is not merely an antiquated concept. Even today, the pulsing energy of yin and yang continues to guide societies, aligning our activities with the celestial tempo. This poignant awareness, honed by the wisdom of yin and yang, continues to underscore the cyclic nature of our existence. 
Through their eyes, we discover a universe that dances to a choreography of opposites, etching the rhythm of life in the processional of day into night, planting into harvest, yin into yang. Complementary Ness, the bedrock of life's forces. Consider yin-yang, a dualistic philosophy emerging from ancient China. Yin, a symbol of darkness, coolness, and femininity, seemingly stands in complete contrast to the brightness, warmth, and masculinity of yang. Yet they coexist in harmony, forever interdependent. Picture the play in nature, the dance played between a lion and a zebra. The lion embodying yang chases its prey, the zebra, representative of yin. Their interaction forms a dynamic equilibrium, the required balance for an ecosystem's prosperity, yin and yang in action. Similarly, the cycle of day succumbing to night and the night evolving into a new day reflects another iteration of yin-yang's chronology. Delve into traditional Chinese medicine and there too, the yin-yang wisdom emerges, guiding practitioners to holistic healing. Fast forward to contemporary life practices and again, the echo of yin and yang can be heard. Yin-yang forms the cornerstone of traditional Chinese medicine, or TCM. These principles defined as cool inward energy for yin and warm outward energy for yang shape the diagnosis and treatment procedures in TCM. For instance, restlessness and night sweats are symptoms of a yin deficiency. To restore the balance, practitioners apply techniques like acupuncture and tai chi or administer cooling herbs to treat yang excess. Such practices echo TCM's emphasis on harmony and interconnectedness, an embodiment of yin-yang philosophy itself. The practice, in essence, primes human health in tandem with the cosmic dance of energy. This deeply ingrained, holistic approach uses the harmony between yin-yang to steer our journey towards wellness. By tracing the principles that bind us with the cosmos, we harness ancient wisdom to guide our ways in the realm of modern-day medicine. Let's explore the profound influence of yin and yang on ancient Chinese governance. Adaptable and flexible, these principles laid the groundwork for societal harmony and stability through an integration of yin and yang dynamics in policymaking. Notably, the Tang Dynasty adopted a holistic approach to governance, applying the yang in military campaigns while endorsing yin in diplomatic endeavors. The Song Dynasty's implementation of civil service examinations, drawing influences from the yin element, illustrates the matchless value penetrative philosophy brings to governance. Resulting societal harmony that ensued under the guidance of yin-yang orchestration continues to testify for the virtues these principles conceived. As we learn from ancient China, a nuanced understanding of yin and yang, a harmony between the hard and soft, active and passive, can serve as a beacon guiding the efforts of modern governance. The implication of yin and yang's careful symbiosis undeniably illuminates the timeless wisdom of balanced governance, the echoes of which can still be discerned in today's world. Yin-Yang philosophy has embarked on a voyage that transcends the borders of its birthplace, ancient China, reaching global arenas via historically significant conduits like the Silk Road. While washing ashore diverse lands, the philosophy has fused into varying facets of life, resonating in its application in myriad contexts. A prime manifestation of this cross-cultural adoption lies in acupuncture, a medical practice rooted deeply in yin-yang philosophy, which is integrated seamlessly into Western healthcare, accredited by reputed international organizations like WHO. Yet another testimony to the philosophy's versatile applicability is its echo in the heartbeat of sustainable living practices that stress harmonious coexistence with nature, serving as springboards for global environmental movements. But amid such diverse integrations, it's crucial to sift the genuine understandings of yin-yang from their misconstrued interpretations, often diluted when passed through varying cultural lenses. It's fascinating to note that despite its origin in Oriental thoughts, yin-yang has resonated universally, reflecting various global philosophies and religious beliefs, hence underscoring its universal quest for balance, a testament to the endurance of this ancient philosophy. The crux of comprehending yin-yang lies in debunking misconceptions rampant in contemporary culture. Yin-yang, beyond mistaken notions of harmony over conflict and gender balance, unveils a philosophical tapestry brimming with depth. Western oversimplifications blur the nuanced interpretations inherent in the yin-yang theory. In contrast, the modern context casts a fascinating light on its relevance. Applications spanning sustainability, mental health, and technological innovation are all imbued with the essence of yin-yang. 
molding our ecological balance, emotional well-being, and the ethos of efficiency in our tech-savvy world. Understanding yin-yang within its original philosophical framework fosters a meaningful connection with the theory's essence and underlines the significance of embracing the philosophy with its inherent complexity intact. Such an understanding facilitates thoughtful applications of yin-yang principles, paving the way for a balanced perspective in our modern lives and professional domains. Yin-yang's essence echoes in myriad aspects of life from natural harmony to modern-day issues. Let's take the changing seasons. Chilly winters mark yin's ascendance, whereas warm summers signal the dominance of yang, a rhythmic cycle mimicking the harmony yin and yang aim to achieve. Turning to traditional Chinese medicine, it exploits yin-yang principles to attain balance in our bodies, a unique blend of acupuncture and herbal remedies targeting the equilibrium of yin and yang. Distinct leadership styles also reflect yin-yang melange with empathy, representing yin, and decisive action embodying yang. They cater to a crucial balance in authoritative choices. In the modern context, yin-yang insights decode complex phenomena like climate change, where technological advancements, symbolizing yang, align with sustainable practices, representing yin. Similarly, the dynamic duo highlights the importance of balancing academic empowerment and emotional intelligence in our educational framework. Hence, the wisdom of yin-yang, a harmonizing force for ages, continues to tackle global challenges and complexities, reminding us of life as an unfolding pathway featuring myriad possibilities for restoring balance.